So moving on, while we're talking about music, let's get into this um streaming. We haven't touched streaming too much. Um, so I want to talk about how streaming music affects uh, the effects that it has on albums and singles. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, obviously now it's a, a, a single-driven industry. Most definitely. People like Pip will never put out an album ever. Again. <laughs> well, Still I don't know. Winning. Does he? I think he does put out albums. Nah, people don't put out puts albums. Out whole albums. Yeah, he put out albums, but you don't never like, like once every five years. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> like, he put out way more singles. Yes, I, like Flo Rida is the same too, though. Yes, probably hey, not hey, as hey, of late. Hey, no, I mean, don't nobody say that yeah, about Flo. Okay, nobody say that about Flo. D money, not trying to fuck up his plug. Yeah, right, right, right. Here, D money go. Damn it, strong arm. There we go. No, I'm That's not right. saying that negatively. Just these days, you nah, don't you necessarily wouldn't. have to put out full length albums Facts, B, to mm-hmm. be to be relevant. I Facts. feel like I feel like you only need to. I feel like you only want to put out an album if you take your craft seriously. Like if you want to be remembered long term in this game, you put albums together. I wouldn't say I would, that. I, I would agree. I feel, I, I feel that way now. Hey, how, can, say, how could you really say that though? When the fact is, like albums being put out is a thing of the past though and like this like streaming thing is more new so like long term we don't know where stuff is going to stand because but that's dropping what singles might be what the move is long term though but, but that's what I'm saying though I feel like only people who drop albums is who take themselves seriously like I'm going to be in this game long term so I want something because singles yeah you're going to make the most money off of it and you're going to get streamed but that single yeah, definitely... you're going to get tours you're going to get recognition yeah but I'm saying that billboards. single but that single is not going to necessarily be remembered as far as if you put out an album that's, I don't all, think that's anything all the... like see if you ask me I think it's just going to get worse before it gets better as far as like music being released like uh, as far as people's um, uh, memory goes, like, mm-hmm. because you can remember songs from the past where there wasn't like this whole scene yeah. of singles being dropped every day. Like I mean, we we are all DJs, right? Yeah. So how how big is your inbox just full of music that you still went into listening to at this point or you haven't know? heard? I'm sorry, yeah. everybody. And you think, you think it's gonna get better before it gets boy. worse? You think like oh, this is gonna be a, a a classic album because it's in like in your inbox or like to me, I think. Eventually, like all of this is gonna hit the fan. Eventually, everybody is just gonna be releasing music so quick that nobody's gonna remember anything that dropped. Well, I mean, we we damn <laughs> already we're there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we we no, no, no. But yeah, we're there now. But if you ask me, I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I so, mean, so do y'all still want to see albums? Yes. I don't care. I think okay. So I don't care. So we got a yes. <laughs> we got a I don't care. How you feel? For me personally, I feel like the only time. Album makes sense, or or thinking for in the future. The only time an album would really make sense is if it's a conceptual album. Okay, that makes sense. Whether it be like a continual storyline, kind of like what Kendrick did, or whether it's working with a single producer to create one sound for Mm -hmm. this particular album. So like some type of collaboration project or something like that. Whatever it is, if it's a collaboration album, it definitely makes sense. But if not, if I mean. On the flip, if you just dropping singles, as long as you got a fire ass single every year, at Tell least one, you Tell win the game. Who's, who's dropping albums though? Like who's dropping full length albums? Jay Z, Nicki Minaj, but Lil Wayne. I mean, I mean, I mean well, a lot of people still putting out albums. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, they're putting out albums, but who's picking them up? Who's buying albums? Like, yo, I gotta go pick up this new album. I bought, See, I bought like, Kendrick's people, albums. People yeah. are buying songs. Yeah, yeah, Kendrick, but Kendrick's different. But that's what I'm See, saying. That, but yeah, how but is he's, he's like real niche. He's real niche because. Okay. Like his his songs, when you listen to his album, every every track flows to the next track. That, that's it what I'm makes saying. Sense. It's conceptual. It mm-hmm. makes sense, but, right? But how many people are doing that though? That that's that's kind of unique. Like See, but with that's, Kendrick. Nah, that's not unique with Kendrick. I feel like that's unique for the people who are on top of the mountain. You know what I'm saying? I feel like True. those are people who I feel like people who drop albums are people who take themselves serious enough to be like, I'm gonna be here 20 years from now. Well, I'll say this: I feel like everybody is trying to put out those type of projects where they feel like. What they're doing is gonna make sense. I just think some people miss the mark. <laughs> I, I mean, but some people albums. It seems like, like to me, if I listen to an album, I want to be able to know that this album has sonically something different than the last album. Whether okay. it's content, whether it's how it was produced, how it flows. Whatever. I need to listen to this album and know that it's different than the last album. But, and that's why like, I'll set Kendrick as the <clears> bar <throat> because to me, each of his albums was different like that. Like He put out an album 
about himself, yeah. kind of. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Which was his first album. And then he put out an album about growing up in the hood of mm-hmm. Compton and seeing what he saw, which was the second album, which was mad. You know, so yeah, you got Section 80. Kid, mad city. Yeah, Section 80 was like about himself, mm-hmm. like introspective, I would say. Section 80, amazing. Definitely. Then Good Kid, Mad City was not about himself, but about oh, his yeah. city and, and him growing up and, and being an outsider to the gang violence, yeah. but growing up and still being attached to exactly. it. Exactly. And then his third album was about the culture, right? So I feel like every album he's kind of growing to. Okay, but to, I think we all agree that like Kendrick is winning as far as the album. Yeah, go. I mean, like but I that's said. That's why I say that's why they're still relevant. Like if you can do, obviously everybody ain't going to be able to do it to that magnitude. But if you are able to put out a conceptual album, I think you still win it. Like, yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. Like we touched on it before. But is, like, that, the, is that the only way to win nowadays? Is no, that I mean, it's definitely not the only way to win. My whole thing is what I'm saying. Long term, people who take themselves seriously enough to I'm going to be around for X amount of years, they put together albums, not only singles. I feel like a lot of people now, yeah. younger generation come up when they put out singles is to make money. Like, all right, cool. I'm going to put out the single. Yeah, it's going yeah, yeah, yeah. to get. 50 million views and I'm going to make money off it. I'm going to drop another one and so on and so forth. Like, I don't really need to put out an album. Some albums all singles. If you listen to the album, it's all the singles that you've been hearing is all on this album. But I feel like a lot of cats, like, they really do have albums out, but just according to how their single does, that's when it's like, all right, well, yo, all right, now we moving. We got a buzz. Now we need to give everybody the whole project of, you know, introduce them to our whole movement. You know what I'm right. saying? But like I was saying, like some people's movements are just better than others. Like some people I mean, yeah. put out there. I feel like all artists are really trying to introduce the people to how they flow, you know, give people their concepts, their ideas, but some, some are just better than others. All right. So we're going to leave it there. Y'all make sure to drop comments on how y'all feel about singles versus albums or vice versa.